Callahan. You were raised in Jota mm -hmm. Mahogany Town. You spent a good amount of your time there. You know, you used to love being a little bit of an adventurer when you were younger. You know, just like exploring. You don't know how um, you, you got into some, some situations with some wild Pokemon, but hey, you're still here and you're still kicking. Your mother left to be a professional trainer. But before leaving you, she taught you a few things, you know, like she taught you how to basically stand for yourself and survive. And that basically inspired you a bit to become a trainer yourself. And with that, you decided to head to New Bark Town to get your first Pokemon. You reached a quiet suburbity that is New Bark Town. You reached a quiet suburbity that is New Bark Town. You look around the place and it's uh, very quiet. You see there's a man at the moment who seems to be feeding some Pokemon. They look familiar to you. You know you've seen these dudes before. What are you gonna do? I go up to the professor and ask for a starter Pokemon. He looks at you and just says, Oh! Oh, another trainer! Hello! I'm Professor Elm, one of the best professors of the Johto region. It's nice to meet you. What's your name? Oh, uh, my name's Cal. <laughs> he just looks at you running around like, oh, okay, you got a lot of energy. All right, that's fine. All right, no problem then, young cow. I will help you get your first Pokemon. Come with me into the lab. I figured some more people would have wanted some Pokemon after I gave away some before. So oh my god, I hear the typing. What are you typing? Oh, no, I'm not typing anything. I'm moving around using the arrow keys. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I can I can hear it. It sounds like you're it sounds like you're playing it. It sounds like you're playing Fox Melee. I'll move it. I'll move it extra close just for you. <laughs> Gee. <laughs> oh my God. But yeah, he basically says to you, "Come on, I'll help you get your first Pokemon." And basically, I'll be taking you two into the lab. All right. Let me just put you here. Oh my Lord. <laughs> I've discovered new tech. My goodness. <laughs> Alright, you are in the lab. You're in Professor Elm's lab. And he basically says to you, Alright, now follow me. Now, I have all of these Pokemon to choose from. These three starter Pokemon. Totodile, Cyndaquil, and Chikorita. You pick one, and you'll be your best friend for life. Who do you pick? I picked Totodile. So you grab... The Pokeball with Totodile in it. And as you open it to send him out, <laughs> it's empty. He looks at you and says, Oh, right. God, I gave that someone, I think. Wait, did I? I'm not too sure about Totodile. Ah, no matters, no matters. I still have two more Pokemon for you to pick from. Go on, take your pick. Cyndaquil. You take Cyndaquil's Pokeball. It's no, I do it. <laughs> I just hear you. In the, it's like, it sounds like you're gamer raging. I am. It's got the worst one. I just got. I just got Chikorita. <laughs> and he's well. Uh, I have one more. Well, uh, you want to take it? I say no, and then proceed to walk up the lab. You walk up the lab. Yes, I'm leaving the lab. <laughs> As you go, he basically says, hey, say, wait, 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 I still got, I still got one more Pokeball for you to pick. He, he's just, he, he gets the Pokeball for you. And look, I don't think this one is empty. And as he, oh, and as he tries to send it out to show you, that one's empty too. I praise Arceus. <laughs> <laughs> I said to him, I don't believe in a god, but now I do. <laughs> His name's Arceus. He basically just oh, I, I never found somebody who's had like a strong distaste to Chikorita. Huh. Well, okay, well, it's time for plan B. And he basically says, you stay right there. I, I am going to get you a Pokemon. You see as he runs downstairs for a second, he comes back up, and you see a tray of eggs, Pokemon eggs. And he basically says to you, okay, now, I have this third tray of Pokemon eggs here. Now, they're filled with different Pokemon in them. And basically, you pick which egg you want. My benefactor friend, Mr. Pokemon, gave me them. He said if any other trainers came by and I ran out, I could give them these. So, 
The moment you touch it, he said that the egg is supposed to immediately hatch. I've seen it happen a few times, actually. So I'm wondering what Pokemon's gonna show up for you. But go on, take an egg. Nah, I could be a menace. Or it could just be normal. I could say, I I'll, I'll say, be normal. I'll say this though. You roll, you roll, run when I ask you to roll me a number? Mm-hmm. That's what this is, what this is for. You grab one of the random eggs and you take it. And you see as the egg begins to crack. How does Callihan respond to life being birthed into his hands? He's like, he's super happy at first until he sees all the slime on the creature after it attached to the egg and he goes, you. <laughs> I will say, you don't see slime. You see more of a... Because Pokemon eggs are a bit different from, from regular animal eggs. You don't see slime. It feels a bit soft in a sense, as you feel, you see his two feet come from the bottom of it. And you see as the egg just shaking and just go, <laughs> And you just see as this emerges from the egg. Oh, this is a W. This is a W. I run to the Totodile and I pick him up. You pick up the Totodile. And... And as you go to pick up the Totodile, you see that he's passed out sleeping. It was it just it literally just was up and it just went back to sleep. Is it siestas? Oh yo. You just see siestas? You just see his professor I'm just go Oh, you you Genuinely got a Totodile. That's that's really interesting. Congratulations on your Pokemon. You just wait right there though. I'm gonna get you a Pokeball to keep it in. And you see as he leaves you two be. Now, well, Professor Elm's gone. Is there anything you want to do with your sleeping buddy? Can I ask him for a collar? The the professor. For a collar? Yeah, like a name tag collar. Probably with like a name on it. I'm gonna I'm gonna name it right now. And put it on uh, oh, you're a name giving, tag you're collar giving, thingy. You're giving him a nickname now? Okay, I will say you don't really need a collar to give him a nickname. Do you just want it for pizza? Yeah, but you know, it, it, it's just so it looks cool. It, it'll okay, look I got it you. Doesn't be on the, it doesn't be on the neck. It can be like on like, you know, like on the arm or like a bracelet or something. Something okay. like that, along those lines. Okay, um, I'll add that as an accessory then. And he leaves you alone with a Totodile. So now what do you do with him? You just see as you have a little Totodile who's just sleeping up the bed. I sit down, crisscross applesauce, pick it up, and put it in my lap, and start petting its, like, reptile-y skin. Make me a roll. Alright, but that, that's one success. You just see his Totodile, as you pet it, you just see as the Totodile, you see as the Totodile had, like, one of those sleeping bubbles, and you see as it pops in your scratch, and he just looks at you. And then I laugh. I chuckle. You see, is he just like looks just? And I'm in. Oh, what do you what do you do? I'm in awe of how cute this totted owl is. <laughs> and you see, after that, he's just like he just you just sees it just yawns again like, and then goes back to sleep. And he's like, all right, I'm back. And he basically gives you like the collar and everything for him. It's like here's your name tag you wanted, and now I'll put him in a pokeball for you. Go. And you see, as he throws the pokeball at him. The ball shakes once, twice, three times, and boop. congratulations! You now have a Totodile, which I will add to your character sheet now. Alright, 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 okay, okay, okay. And he basically says to you now, okay, now, now that I've gotten you all settled out, it's, there's just one last thing. I'm gonna need you to fill out some paperwork. I sh I sigh, yep. groan. Sorry, and man. Get, I get a pen. <laughs> Sorry, man. Pokemon don't come free. Gotta sign some stuff. Also, to make sure you don't sue. Hmm. All right, come along now. And you basically just see as he leads you into a room to do the paperwork. Well, you see two other trainers there as well doing some paperwork. And with that. That's what I'm gonna call it.